So there's a recent theory on uh, male loneliness, you know, male men being single. And uh, this theory is that the reason men are single is because they are holding on to conservative values and uh, women are held holding on to liberal values. And this, uh, you know, this... This is the reason men are single. They're just holding on to these values. And uh, these women are appalled by it. And uh, that's just not true. So people are saying men, you know, they, they want to they wanna hold back women's autonomy. And, uh, you know, in a lot of cases it's true. You know, in the case of abortion, I'm not going to get too political about that, but... Uh, if men could get pregnant, a lot of these men will be saying, you know, an abortion is a, is a man's choice. And uh, they don't afford that sentiment onto women. And, uh, and you know, a lot of men will complain about, you know, women, women's choices, let's say, in tattoos, you know. They, they don't like women getting tattoos. And they don't like women dyeing their hair. And, uh, you know, m maybe they, they hate on certain women's hobbies. And then, you know, women will see this and be like, you see, this is the reason they don't, we're not giving men a chance. Uh, you know, they, they want to hold us back. They want to they wanna limit our autonomy, our choices. And, and, you know, this is why we're seeing all these single men today in the modern world. And... Uh, you know, that's just nonsense. If you were to look at it back then, you know, people were way more conservative back then. And, uh, you know, very much trying to limit women's choices. Like, just in America, I think in, like, the 70s, the Boston Marathon, you know, that race, they attacked the first woman to, who participated in the Boston Marathon. They were attacking her just because she wanted to fucking race in a, in a vet. And, uh... You know, that's just an example of very, very uh, conservative, trying to limit women's autonomy, their, their choices. Uh, that's just an example of that. Uh, that was very prevalent back then. That, as you can see, women and men were still dating. Uh, but today, you know, you don't see that. And, and yeah, a lot of men will, will red pill, you know, or just... Any man will, will, will shit on a lot of women. Will be like, you know, we don't want these tubby ass women with with uh with kids. And uh, yeah, you know, I don't want that either. But the truth is, a lot of these same men that are fucking shitting on these women will still date these women, these women that they fucking like shit on. And the, and the thing is, is like they don't have much choices. But you know, just to reiterate, this whole single epidemic is not because men are too conservative you know you'll see uh, you know in some cases you see women fucking with like really trad conservative uh, men like very very much against women's autonomy and all that uh, you know women belong in the kitchen and and uh, women shouldn't get abortions, you know, yada yada. They shouldn't dye their hair or whatever. Uh, and those men will still get pussy. And the reason they get pussy is because, because of their looks. Like, I can't believe that this, you know, this, uh, this problem, this issue is being misinterpreted to, like, such great, you know, to, to such a great extent. Uh... I'll make a video right now, a separate video. Uh, I guess I just I'll just wrap this up. Uh, but just to reiterate, this is nonsense. You know, it's not it's not that men aren't willing to to back down on on uh, you know, it's not that men aren't are are out here shitting on you know single moms who get abortions and uh, are fat. It's not, you know, that's not the complete issue. You know, 
those men will still get laid if they're good looking enough. 